Thank you. We are continuing to monitor the story uh, as we go into the four o'clock hour. As Carly mentioned, we do have crews spread out across that perimeter. Atlanta Police Department has expanded that for the safety out of abundance of caution. If you are anywhere near Four Seasons Hotel, you are, have a shelter in place. You're asked to stay away from windows, stay indoors until there is an all clear from Atlanta Police. We do have Joshua Skinner who's on the scene. We're going to talk to him in just a minute, Blair. But he was reporting that he physically could hear a gunfire and what appeared to sound like explosions, Joshua. That hasn't been confirmed by Atlanta police. But tell us, what did you hear? Yeah, you know, I, I say so it sounded like explosions. It's, it's, it's either explosions or very uh, heavy, large caliber gunfire. Now, I did speak with an officer just a minute ago, and he told me that the barricaded person does have large caliber rifles. So that might have been what we were hearing there, but we've been hearing a ton of gunfire. is going to move here. Again, let this police officer get by me. You can see it's, again, very active. A whole lot of movement going on. We're trying to stay safe. They have just moved us back. We were further down the road, uh, and they've moved us back here, you know, about 50, 60 yards from where we were. The perimeter keeps moving back as there's more and more gunfire, more and more police keep arriving at the scene. We're still hearing uh, sporadic gunfire from time to time. We haven't heard any uh, in the last couple, however, but this is uh, a very active situation. We were close. We, we were told we were safe. Then we were eventually moved away as it sounded like gunfire was coming from multiple or coming from at least the up high on the at the four seasons uh, you could hear it rickish the sound ricocheting off all the buildings it was making it very very loud very noisy people were ducking people were running uh, but right now it's a little bit of a calmer situation but they're making that perimeter further back we can still hear sirens still hear more vehicles coming and arriving at this time uh, we again we know there's a barricaded suspect who is what sounds like he is very heavily armed we have seen a whole bevy of SWAT officers go into the Four Seasons and go into surrounding buildings and take up positions all over the place on this situation as, poli as uh, police choppers fly over us now. But it's uh, a very active situation. And as Carly was mentioning earlier, you know, we're still trying to learn exactly the why and all this. This uh, we, we got a, They got a call about a barricaded person. There is way up high in the Four Seasons. But uh, beyond that, we're not entirely sure exactly what is playing out and the why behind all of this, but we will continue to let you know. But again, stay as far away from this as you can. There is a ton of traffic around here. Police are trying to keep people and pedestrians and drivers away from this Peachtree Street, 14th Street area. I'm right back to you here in a second. But as we reset here and come on the air, right at 4 o'clock, you're watching Atlanta News First at 4, joined by Sean Gables, myself, Blair Miller, as we follow this breaking news situation unfolding in the heart of Midtown right now.